السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس سوری ہوپ یو آر فائن اینڈ یو آر یوٹیلائزنگ دس ٹائم ان اے پروڈکٹ وے فار یور اسٹڈیز اینڈ ادر بزنسز ان دا نیکسٹ ان دا پریویس ویڈیو لیکچرس وی ڈیڈ سم بیسکس ریگارڈنگ دا ٹائپس آف کوڈیلیٹرل اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ول ڈو سم تھارمز ویچ آر مینشنڈ ان یور ٹیکسٹ بک سو فسٹ تھارم از ہیئر تھارم ایٹ پوائنٹ ٹو it is in a parallelogram opposite sides of opposite sides are equal that is the opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so we have to prove this theorem we will write opposite sides opposite sides of parallelogram are equal so this is theorem 8.2 so let's prove it we will we have a parallelogram A, B, C, D. So uh, you know any to prove any theorem, you should have the idea about the three steps that given to prove and prove. And we will we have you know that we already have gone through these steps. And now <coughs> in this uh, video lecture, in this we will um, to prove this uh, theorem, we will uh, go to the, uh, go these three steps in a similar way as we did before now we will write given what is given given is simple a b c d a b c d is a parallelogram this is a short form of parallelogram parallelogram to prove to prove a b equals d c and a d equals b c we have to prove it now for proof we will do one thing join ac any of the side ac any of the diagonals we draw or bd or ac we can do it construction join ac now let us look towards the proof proof is very simple congruent concept of congruence is very very important so if you have any difficulty in the concept of congruence please go through the previous video lectures which uh, we have been delivering from last 20, 15 days i guess so from there every, each and every concept have been mentioned there have been discussed there and still if you have any doubt or any question regarding the congruence please let me know that uh, i will explain it to you and i can make the video for the same now we have to prove that um, these uh, opposite sides are equal this is very simple if we are able to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle automatically this side will be equal this this side will be equal this why because by the concept of cpct opposite sides or uh, corresponding sides are of uh, two congruent triangles are equal so let's name it angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 it will make our proof very easy we will uh, write proof ad parallel bc ad ad parallel bc why ad parallel bc why because this is a parallelogram by the definition opposite sides of parallelogram are equal and ac is transversal ac is transversal AD parallel BC AC is transversal so angle 1 equals angle 4 why angle 1 equals angle 4 why because alternate interior angles Re remember the concept alternate interior angles here this angle these angle these types of angles are known as alternate interior angles we have already discussed them so we will write angle 1 equals angle 4 why because alternate interior angles similarly ab parallel dc and we will treat ac transversal angle 2 equals angle 3 similarly similarly angle 2 equals angle 3 again alternate interior angles angle 1 equals angle 4 alternate interior angles angle 2 equals angle 3 alternate interior angles so let's make make these two triangles congruent and we are through in triangles ADC in triangles ADC and ADC one second 
the unavailability of the space here so i uh, request to you please uh, pause the video here to note it down so we will write in triangles adc and cba cba angle 1 equals angle 4 angle 2 equals angle 3 proved we have proved it before and ac equals ac common so you know two angles and including side two angles and included side so uh, by asa by asa triangle ad <coughs> by asa triangle adc is congruent triangle to cba adc is congruent triangle to cba so let us check the criteria this is angle one angle two and included side is ac so by asa these two triangles are congruent so what happens when con two triangles are congruent corresponding parts are equal therefore we will write a b equals d c and a d equals b c because by c p c t this was the uh, theorem which we, we, we were supposed to prove i hope you all can understand it if you still find any difficulty in and regarding this in regarding this theorem or any or having any doubt in this uh, video lecture please let me know that i can explain it to you thank you class